Hello. <laughs> um, our first question that we wanted to ask was, what is the most interesting thing that you got to do in space? You know, it's a little bit uh, difficult to choose one of the very interesting things that I have done. Yeah. Um, if I may, I would actually answer two things. Of course. Of course. First of all, this uh, incredible spectrum of scientific work, which is really fascinating. You're working yeah. on the frontier of research in so many areas. Yeah. And the second aspect is doing a spacewalk. Yeah, I heard about that. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the spacewalk? So maybe what you were doing and um, how it felt. Uh, you know, that's, it's, it's uh, very difficult to compare to anything here on Earth. Um, uh, the task uh, during this extravehicular activity, as it is called in technical terms, is to do maintenance work outside the station. We had um, to repair um, a computer which failed and we had to replace it by a new one. We did some maintenance on the um, cooling loops uh, of, the, uh, of the station and we installed some scientific experiments outside the station. Um, so um, you are out there for, for about six hours um, and um, in the six hours it's, it's a very intense work so you do not have a lot of time really to enjoy this incredible view but there are of course every once in a while there is a minute that you can yeah. turn around and watch the earth passing by cruising yeah. with uh, 28,000 kilometers per hour, 400 kilometers above yeah. the surface or looking into the opposite direction into uh, the starry sky, it's fantastic. You cannot be closer to space than during such a spacewalk. Oh, wow. Um, we also heard that you wanted to be an astronaut since you were 11. Um, so how did, you, how did you go about becoming an astronaut? Like, for kids nowadays maybe wondering how they could also possibly become an astronaut, what would you tell them? Well, um, first of all, you should have a good relationship to math, physics, chemistry, you know, all these topics. Secondly, of course, foreign languages is quite important. So at least one foreign language, which is usually English. I have to say one of the big hurdles for me was then, after having been selected, is to learn Russian, which is a very difficult language. Yeah. Third point is you should have a good relationship to sports, so physical um, exercise. I mean, uh, sport is an integral part of your daily work. And the last point is, even though you are working on board a space station, a spaceship in a very small crew, it's really a team effort. So you need to be um, very good in, in really working together with other people. Even yeah. though you, there are only three persons on board the station, yeah. but there is a huge team on ground that is supporting you. So you should be um, very, very good in, in working together with other people. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I'm sure everyone's going to find this to be really interesting. So thanks for taking the time. My pleasure. Thank okay. you.